Hello, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna talk about internationalization in Angular. Generally, translations provide us with possibilities to consume content and use products from different parts of the world, made by people of different nations. First thing that reminds me of is watching Hollywood movies. Without translations, this wouldn't be possible. Internationalization is the process of supporting multiple languages in your application. This can be accomplished in Angular through third-party libraries such as NGX Translate or you can use the built-in E18 functionality. To complete this tutorial, you will need an Angular project already set up. If you're not sure how to do it, please check the first video in this series. For this app, I'll add Serbian translation, as that's my native language. Inside of the app component, I will add just one tile and one paragraph for the simplicity, as I want to focus on translations and not on the style of our app. In the title, let's put the following text. This is my multilingual application. And in the paragraph, I hope you like it. Okay, that's more like it. Next, add the I18N directive to all of the text that you would like to translate. Then, you will have to make an npm script inside package.json that uses the Angular CLI to extract the mark items from app component HTML file into messages xlf file. For extract, use this ng command. and set the output path to the local folder. First, we need to install Angular Localize. So run the following command. npm i angular localize. After adding this, run your new script in a terminal window. npm run i18n colon extract. Then open up messages.xlf file and you will observe something similar to this. For each item that needs translating, a trans unit will be created. By default, Angular considers everything to be the American English locale. You will have to add other locales and update the configuration to support them. First, copy messages and rename them to messages.sr. Then, add a target for each item. I'll add a Serbian translation of these two lines. Ovo je moja multijezička aplikacija. And nadam se da vam se sviđa. Each trans unit now has a source message that is not in English and a target message that is in Serbian. Now, in order to run our app in a different language, we need to update our app configuration. Open AngularJSON in your code editor and add SR in local. You need to add two properties. First one, translation, where you put the URL of the messages file that we created. And second one is base href, which can be an empty string. And create configuration settings for SR under build. Also, update configuration. And the serve. Set browser target to project name colon build colon sr. And finally, we can start our app with ng serve dash dash configuration equal sr.
And voila, our app has been internationalized. In this tutorial, you use the built-in i18 tool available to Angular to generate translated builds in Serbian language. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. If you want to support this channel and support me on making these videos, please subscribe. And I see you in the next one.